Last week I went to the Atlanta Zoo. So, okay. And uh, I pay 25 bucks, it's not cheap. So I go into the zoo, I'm expecting yeah, wild, cool, exotic animals. I go to the first exhibit, and uh, there were no uh, animals. Yeah, I don't know if they're sleeping, taking a nap. Anyway. Oh. So I decided to go to the second exhibit. Yeah, Any zoo people? Habitats yeah, for you zoo people. So I go to the second habitat, I look out, and guess what? Still no animals. Say it should be about 10 well, 25 bucks for a lot. I decide to go to the third enclosure, which was the Serengeti. Yeah, then, well, so I'm right, expecting right, like a giraffe, a zebra, a At this point, I'll be happy with the wildebeest. So I look out into the vast expanse, and guess what? Still no animals. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. It's hot. So I decide to leave. I turn around. Start walking out of the path, and right so, in front of me shows well, up a little teeny dog. Asked, what I think, um, yeah, it was a better. shit zoo. <laughs> it's okay to laugh in the back, guys. These are funny. So, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, I don't know, I was down in Georgia, and there was an auction. Somebody start me a hundred. Hang a 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 h
was open. Oh, well, maybe that's open. Oh, I'm trying here. Here we go. So that's what they look like. Um, maybe that's a futon instead. No, wood day bed. And I paid 150 bucks. There are, what did I say, six of them? Yeah, six of them. I'm probably, I didn't look at retail, but I'm probably gonna price them at 100 bucks each in the sale. So they'll be turn 150 bucks into 600. This pallet, corner cabinets, I paid 175 bucks for it. And they look like that. And there are a whole bunch of them here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, so my cost is, I'm not even going to do that math. Um, so seven of them at 15, no, $20 each would be 140. My cost was 175. So maybe I spent 25 bucks each. I don't know. Maybe I overspent on those. I don't know what retail is on them. I could probably get 40 bucks each in the sale though. And I already showed you this one. Here are three more pallets of Target Mix. You can see up here there's some toys and stuff. More toys and stuff in here. That's Care Bears. Uh, down here, more toys. I paid $225, $250, and the tag must be on the back side of this one. Probably going to be comparable to all those. I don't believe I paid more than $300 for any of these. There was a lady there who... I'm apparently well known at this auction because the previous one I came in and bought 50 pallets. Um, there were 250 total, where most people was buy, were buying one or two. There's a lady, a lot, so a lot of people made jokes at this. Oh, you're not welcome here. You know, you're the big spender from Wisconsin. You're the expletive deleted from Wisconsin. All joking. Um, and so there was a lady who was trying to get these Target mixed Gaylords, and she was bidding on every single one, as was I. And she said, you know, you got to let more people have a chance to buy them. You're, you're buying too many of them. I thought she was joking. So my comment was something along the lines of, well, you just got to bid more. You got to spend more money. I ended up finding out later that she was actually really annoyed with me and really angry with me. I don't know if she ended up getting any. But basically every single one I bid up to 300 bucks. I didn't get all of them. There were a lot that went over $300. I didn't think they were worth spending over 300 bucks. Well, you'll notice 250, 200, 225, 250. There's a pattern in here. They're all about that price. This one, I don't know if it was a good buy or not. I paid 100 bucks for it. That was lot number 390. Um, not the price. I think the sticker was on, yeah, over there. Um, it's artificial trees. Nice big tree. There should be one per box. I got it for 100 bucks. I wasn't paying attention. And nobody was bidding on this pallet. They have a minimum bid of a hundred bucks. Nobody was bidding on it. I just looked and saw it was a giant pallet, so I bid a hundred bucks. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are eighteen trees at ten bucks each. That's one hundred and eighty bucks. So I'm gonna almost double my money. But I feel like I could probably put them in the special buy area for twenty or thirty. Usually these artificial trees aren't cheap. Actually, there's a barcode there. I'm gonna look it up on Target's website. It's a Moringa artificial tree. My Target app is on the same phone that I film with, but if you want to look that up on Target's website, they're 150 bucks at Target. I don't know if I'm going to price them at 75. I'll probably put them in the special buy area for like 30 or 40. Uh, so actually, that's going to turn out to be a pretty good palette. I mean, what's 40 bucks times 18? Let me get my calculator out. Uh... Here we go, 40 times 18, that's 720 bucks. I think it was a pretty good pallet for 100 bucks. Vacuums, now I know I've got a lot of vacuums from the last load. These ones are new, they're just box damaged. They came out of Target, at least they're supposedly. Yeah, that's new, just one layer of tape on there. Um, 400 bucks I paid for this, there are what, 18 of them? Seven, no, there are 21 of them. Three rows of seven. Um, they're 125 bucks retail. I'm going to go half retail, probably about 65 bucks. Um, and I paid 400. Now there were four pallets of these. The first one sold for 450. This one sold for 400. The third one sold for 350 and the fourth one sold for 300. They dropped 50 bucks each time. I thought about buying more, but remember I wasn't there to buy a lot. I wasn't planning on buying a lot. And I already have like a million vacuums. Up here, we've got outdoor power. This is Craftsman, like yard tools and stuff, 175 bucks. 
There was another one of these that had some actual DeWalt tools, like actual tools, not yard tools. There was a drill and driver kit and a big circular saw. That one went a lot higher. I was hoping, and they were kind of buried in there. You had to dig to see them. And I was hoping maybe there would be some in here. But after I bought it, I dug a little bit and didn't see anything in there. I didn't dig all the way, but I'm not going to hold my breath. This one, I don't even remember what I paid. Probably 300 something. It's weighted blankets. They're like a leopard print. It must be on the other side. I've got so many weighted blankets for the sale. Let me walk you through it here. Uh, where is that pallet? This pallet, other than the stuff on the bottom... There's all weighted blankets. We've got a whole bunch of weighted blankets there. And I've got probably about 30 pallets of bedding back there that has a lot of weighted blankets. And then some of these even have some weighted blankets in them. But my thought process was I got it cheap enough where it made sense. And it's a different pattern. So if they don't sell, we'll save them for the next sale. Up here, these are the candles. So this one I spent 250 bucks. That was the candles up there. There's still some up there. And then this is Scotch Bright. Um, all different Scotch products. Uh, it's in, you can see a retail display. Let me see if I can show you. I've got another one. Uh, just like this. That I got on the last auction. I believe there were four of these boxes. So we got a lot of this type of stuff. There are also brushes. Uh, it's dish wand refills. Dish wand, maybe that's what they're called, where it's like a, a brush or a sponge on the end and the handle fills with your dish soap. Um, so two big boxes of these, there are a lot of them. 250 bucks I paid and that included the candles. Let me walk you over here quick. <coughs> There's another palette. Actually, I might even be able to show you a little bit better here. These, this palette is all that Scotch Bright or Scotch products. A um, whole bunch of this type of stuff in here. When you open it up, you can see what it looks like inside. It's got the nice big display. I think those will do really well. So my thought process was two more cases of that, uh, which may not sell in this sale because we've got so many already. But the candles are Christmas candles. They have a very nice Christmassy scent. I think I'll be able to sell a lot of those in this sale. And they are four per box. Um, and just up there, there are what, three, six boxes. So it's 24 candles at two bucks each, that's 50 bucks. Remember I paid what, 175, 250. Um, so I already lost my count. Anyways, I've got a lot of boxes of candles that'll pay for it. This palette, I paid 200 bucks and it's rugs. You can kind of see one hanging out here, like a mat that you'd put just inside your front door, a couple of different colors. There are, I rough counted it. I think I counted like 10 of them and then just went down and it came out to like four or 500 rugs here. Um, I don't remember if it was four or 500 there or the whole palette. Um, but 200 bucks that's cause I'm paying less than a dollar a rug here. I'm probably just going to drop this pallet on the floor and say a dollar or $3 each or something. I'm going to run to Walmart and, uh, see what cheap rugs sell for. Cause there's definitely not high end rugs and kind of base my prices off of that. This pallet, I paid 200 bucks for it. Remember this was not part of it and it's Amazon stuff, big stuff. I honestly don't even know what it is. That's a Target item back there. These are Target items, but some of this stuff has Amazon tags on it. I don't know what this palette is. It was 200 bucks. I don't know. Those two cube storage things will probably get me 70, 80 bucks for both of them. And so that cuts my price down to 120 ish. Uh, I think I'll do all right. I mean, it depends what's on there, but. Here's another three pallets of Target Mix. Uh, the tags are on the other side, so I don't know what I paid for them, but there's a nice step stool right here so we can climb up. We've got some dish soap, some toys, more adult diapers, like we don't have enough of those already. Down here, uh, backpacks and stuff. And down here, uh, I see big Tonka toys in there. Another pallet of rugs. This one cost me a hundred bucks. They're a little bit different. 
They're smaller, so there are four stacks instead of two, but I feel like they're a nicer material. It's like something that you would have on your floor, like an actual carpeting. I paid a hundred bucks for this pallet, and there's got to be close to a thousand rugs on here. If that was 600, this is definitely over a thousand. Now this one I may have overpaid. I believe it was 450 I paid for it. I don't, oh, it's up there. You see what that says? 425, let me bring a step stool over here. I know you could see it, but I couldn't see it. Anyways, it's a whole bunch of this brand, Carol's Daughter. They're selling for 11 to 15 bucks at Target. Uh, they're in nice retail displays. And it's not just that, there are a whole bunch of different ones. I paid 425, you can see there's some of this stuff and there's little bottles and whatnot. Total gamble, but I'm gonna try them on $10 day and hope they do well. Does this have a packing list? Here you go, you can, oh, I wonder if there are hair dryers in here. Um, but I, I, I don't know if it's just a center display and this bottom display or if the hair dryer, the diffusers and this other stuff is part of it. I'm not sure, but that's what the planogram looks like. All right, now let's walk over here. We got three more Target mix pallets. I paid 250 for that one. You can see a bunch of toys up there. This one over here, you can see I created like a maze for myself so I can get in here and get these pallets out. Uh, this one here cost me 200. Um, some toys, some bedding. Oh, this one here, I couldn't believe I got it so cheap. It's a hundred bucks I paid for this pallet. Uh, it was an Amazon pallet and there's nothing showing where I can show you what it is. If I remember right, it was 60 units of these hose hangers. Basically it's a spike that you put in the ground and it's got a hose hanger on it so you can Put your hose on it. Um, I think those will do well in the summertime. It's just gonna sit until then. This one, I don't know if I'm gonna put in this sale. This was the weirdest one ever. I might wait because I wanna do an unboxing video on it and I don't have time before the sale. I paid, let's come over here and see the tag. 300 bucks for it. It's a bathtub filled with stuff. I think it's Amazon stuff, but instead of a Gaylord, they used a bathtub. Just the absurdity of it, I needed to buy it. The bathtub is probably junk, although I'm not seeing, you know, there's a little damage there, but this will go behind the drywall when you install it, so that's not a big deal. I actually don't see any damage. That bathtub might be good. Usually the bathtubs are junk. I mean, it's gonna be a tough sell either way, but you never know. But anyways, the absurdity of this, I had to have it. It's the weirdest, Gaylord I have ever seen. That might be damaged. That, I think that's a hole going through. So odds are I might end up taking a, a reciprocating saw and cutting this up and put it in the garbage. But you never know. Um, but I bought it for the stuff inside. It's crazy. All right, here we've got this one I may have overpaid on. Paid 175 bucks. It's, it's a chest freezer. And then there's some stuff back here that I don't even know what it is. Uh, can I get this out? This I can pull out. This looks like a bed, like a pet bed. According to this, it's just a skirt, a woman's skirt. So that'll get a dollar for. Do you have any idea what this thing is? Uh, I can't read that. One piece, 87 pounds. That side looks more open. Ugh. Piece of furniture, I guess. That's padding. This looks like plywood. I have no clue what this thing is. Let me look this up. Well, assuming it's all in here and this isn't like box one of two, this is an adjustable bed. Uh, TXL, twin, extra long, which is what it said online when I looked this up. Um, so an adjustable bed, you know, where the head and foot goes up. So, I mean, I have to be able to get a couple hundred bucks for that. And then 200 for the chest freezer. I went a little crazy. I saw a chest freezer and thought, oh, I could use another chest freezer. And then I didn't think that I could have probably bought that exact chest freezer for a hundred bucks or 200 bucks or whatever they go for. Uh, now this pallet, is this part of, I don't know if this is, fell off into there for this part of this one. This is an electronics pallet and 
there is a receiver in here. There, you can kind of see it down there. I paid, I believe, 200, and 200 or 250 bucks for this. Well, there's, there's the thing that I paid. That's my bidder number. 200 bucks, and that just dropped. 200 bucks I paid for this. <clears throat> and there's a receiver down there that's worth about 250 to 350 bucks on eBay. And that's just bulk electronics and looks very similar to this one, which I paid 200 bucks. Just random electronics. There's some empty boxes. I think, no, that one's got stuff in it. There was a box in here that was empty. Uh, we've got, what is this? Perfume, cologne perfume. Uh, those we'll probably look up on eBay. We got a movie, CD, big karaoke machine, some sort of speaker. Uh, this I already looked at is a drone. Speaker, sound bar. Uh, I feel like 200 bucks was a good gamble on this. I have no idea where these came from. Um, this says Fry's, which I think is an electronics store, but I know they also reuse these. There are definitely not watermelons in there. Um, so I honestly don't know where this is from or any details. But um, I feel like it was a good gamble at that. Um, especially since that one had that $250 receiver. Of course, we're assuming the receiver works. Air vent mount. It's brand name, though. The brand name parts, typically, are always selling on eBay. A little watch. I don't know. We'll find out. Next, over here, I paid 300 bucks. This is just a Target Pal. It's got some bigger stuff. We got a little footstool, air purifiers. This is not part of it. This is from the pallet that was collapsing. Volleyball game, uh, big toy set, just stuff, 300 bucks. This one I paid 150 bucks for is food. Um, I was digging through some of these. I believe that's Cheetos. There's some good chips in there. Although there are a couple of bags of Lay's sour cream and onion that are missing. Don't know what could have possibly happened to them. Broth. Now all of this is pretty long expired. Um, we're talking like summer and fall of this past year. Okay, this is July. It expired, but it was 150 bucks. The chips that I ate, I mean, the chips that disappeared were perfectly fine. Um, I think this is well worth it. There's, look at this, red buttercream icing. This is going to be my lunch today. Uh, we got K-cup packs right there. What do we have over here? Oh, nice fancy gift set here. Wine Country gift baskets. Uh, we've got Mountain Dew Game Fuel. We've got Bolt 24, whatever that is. You can see it expired in August. I think 150 bucks was a pretty good buy on this palette. Uh, good variety, some decent stuff. Next, we've got... I'll skip that one over here. $100 I paid for this. This is a Pottery Barn palette. We've been doing really well with Pottery Barn on eBay. And these little things are what really sold it to me. These are probably like little light fixtures or something. Uh, let's see. Does it say on here? It does not. Well, anyways, I bet these little boxes will pay for the palette on eBay. And I only paid a hundred bucks for it. The bigger stuff, you know, ten dollar day, maybe auction, maybe um, special buy area. We'll see. I don't really know what's all on it. Oh, this is those hose things. This is what it looks like right here. There you go. It looks like I thought we were missing a couple of boxes on there. That's what these two boxes are. Uh, but anyways, I paid a hundred bucks for. I estimated sixty of them from looking at the palette. So anyways, back to this Pottery Barn stuff. Let's, let's take these boxes off so we can open this one. This one also doesn't say what it is. And actually, there's the tag for that pallet. All right, so this is... Cushions. Looks like a set of Pottery Barn cushions. So I don't know what those will go for. This one, 
is a very large box. I don't think the Pottery Barn cushions... See, with our warehouse sales, Pottery Barn is not... People aren't buying Pottery Barn. I mean, they'll buy it, but they're not going to pay anywhere near Pottery Barn prices or even half of Pottery Barn prices. But they'll pay Target prices. Oh, that's a, that's a bummer. Shame. Huge chandelier. Like, look at the size of this box. Not something that I'm really going to have a market for. I'm probably going to sell this for like 20 bucks. That's a bummer. I mean, maybe I'll try it on eBay. We'll look it up. I mean, I feel like I could still UPS this box. If it's like a $2,000 light fixture, we put it up for 500 or something plus shipping, maybe. I don't know. That's a bit of a bummer, though. So maybe that's what this whole palette is. It, well, no, it's not going to be all lighting because those were cushions. There's another odd size cushion. This is one that's small enough where I think we could try and sell it on eBay if it's worthwhile. This is cordless shades. Uh, double triangle pottery barn standard. What? Antique bronze finish. Probably um, curtains, like curtain um, rods. 125 bucks retail. Let's open these boxes. I was guessing small light fixtures. I need more than one hand for this. And no, I will not get a chest mount because I want no part of that. All right. Styrofoam that indicates even more that it's probably a light fixture. It's thinking about coming out. Yep, light fixture. Is there a picture of it? Uh, just a little sconce light. I believe we sold some similar ones in the $50 range on eBay. Um, this one's a little heavier. Let's crack this one open. If you notice, I'm no longer wearing my safety sandals. And that's because it's cold outside. This one looks like a lamp. Uh, maybe. Just a decorative thing that you put on a shelf. Candle holder, maybe. Is there a price on this slip? Uh, let's see, I do not see a price. It says damage, oh, there was a description there. Damage, the stem on the large one is marked up, small one is not. Keeping the small one, I wanna replace the large one with the same item. Oh, right there. Now, this probably sold for over a hundred bucks. If you buy this for a hundred bucks, you're probably gonna to wanna to return it if you see that. But you know what, if you buy this for 40 bucks, you just put it in the corner and you can't see that. So I'm sure this will be worth putting on eBay. All right, so I'm not gonna dig any more in there. <coughs> this pallet, 100 bucks. I mean, there has to be some value in here at 100 bucks. I believe this company makes beds. So we step over here. You see, I mean, these lamps, 10 bucks each. Zenus. Zenus, Zenus. Um, so it's probably bed related stuff. Um, what here? That just says furniture on it. This was not me. I'm gonna set that there so I remember to throw it away, otherwise the mice are gonna get to it. Uh, what is this? Can you read that? Four tier industrial ladder. I'm guessing it's like a decorative, yeah, ladder shelf. So I mean, that's probably 50 bucks. Uh, this might, no, that's not a mattress, that's hard. I don't know what, maybe an end table or something. Like an industrial looking end table. That's a queen size something, probably a bed frame. This just says furniture. I think that's how they identified this pallet. Come on, there we go. This is actually pretty lightweight.
What a nice piece of furniture. It's a blanket. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? I'm guessing like a pack and play or something. Anything else in here? No. I'm gonna guess this is like a pack and play for a baby, play pen, whatever you want to call it. Maybe. Got wheels on it. Are there any instructions in here? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably what that is. That could, the brand could be very obvious. Brotish. I don't know. I don't recognize the brand. But also, I don't recognize most brands when it comes to baby stuff. So, I mean, 100 bucks for this palette. I think I'm gonna do all right. Next, we've got this one. This is the one that collapsed and I paid 175 bucks for it. There are, this is an electric stand-up desk, like a power, you push a button and it stands up. Uh, we've got some ladder, safety ladder rail extension system. This, a leaf spring for like a truck. I don't know, maybe that has some value, maybe not. And just, you know, more furniture. Uh, that desk alone, I should easily be able to sell for 250 bucks at least. Possibly a thousand, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. I don't know any details about it besides the fact that it is an electric stand-up desk. Um, you can kind of see a little bit on the back of that Target palette there. It's an Air Genius. Uh, metal stainless steel garbage can that's probably dented because they all are. All right, next, we're going to step over here to this palette. And I believe this is the last. No, there's two more that I haven't shown you. This one I paid 125 bucks for. It's hardware. I hope it's not all like this because most people don't have use for this. That's a pretty empty box or pretty big box for those. I know most of these are full because when I, <clears throat> when I moved this pallet, it was incredibly heavy. The top ones are probably more empty. But like this was very, very heavy and it's not very tall. I don't know, it was 125 bucks. These bottom boxes are all the same. Let's try and get down to those because the top ones all seem to be partially empty. Look how full this one is. It's all, oh, that is very stabby digging through here. I thought it'd be like Scrooge McDuck. Uh, little screws. Oh, dropped it. They're what, half inch by, I don't know, half inch Phillips screws. There's gotta be 50,000 of them in there. I just need to sell them for a dollar each and I can retire. I don't know. Uh, a lot of these top boxes are pretty light, but, there's got to be a whole bunch like that because this pallet, I would guess, based on the weight when I was pulling it, must have been at least a thousand pounds. I have, I have experience pulling heavy pallets. This was not a fun one to pull. It was definitely a good leg workout. All right, now let's walk over here. The last couple, the last four. <clears throat> so this one I paid 150 bucks for. It is cat scratchers. There you go. I'm glad it didn't open to like the back or the edge. Cat scratchers. Uh, there aren't a lot in here. I actually sliced that a little bit. Not a big deal. There aren't a lot of them in here. Uh, I want to say they're about that thick, so one, two, three, four, uh, four or five in each box. I think at ten dollars each, I'm going to turn this hundred and fifty bucks into like two hundred fifty, three hundred. Not a home run, but they should sell pretty quick. Now this one was a bit of a gamble, and actually I want to take these down because I want to go through this one. So there was a display on top of here that isn't here anymore. I mean, they put a pallet on it; it was glass, so I'm sure they just tossed into another one of my pallets. Um, but it was a picture frame just one picture frame um and it the boxes say case pack of one but the picture frame was a lot smaller than this so i don't believe that 
I paid 250 bucks for it. There are what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14. So 14, 28, 30, 42. So 42 of them. If I can get 10 bucks each, that's 420 bucks. Not really a great price, but I firmly believe that that one picture frame, there's absolutely no way that's right. And I know Target will often <clears throat> send stuff to liquidation if the box is wrong. So, obviously fragile glass. It's probably picture frames, but it's got to be more than one per box. Are you serious? There's that much styrofoam in one? No, there's more in here. So there we go. Two, three, <clears throat> four, five, looks like five picture frames. So let's open these up. And these, they're picture frames. You could probably put your own picture in it, <clears throat> but it's, you know, a nice piece of art as well. You can just display them on your wall just like that. I think these are pretty nice. I don't know if I'm getting 10 bucks each for the little ones. It looks a lot like pictured rocks. Not quite though. But this big one here, which I believe this is what they had on display. I thought it was split in half and you put two pictures in it, but I guess not. This must be the one they had on display. Um, I bet I can get 10 bucks each for these and these lower. I'm not sure, but that is obviously incorrect case pack of one. So <clears throat> that's, how many did I just say? 42 times five. I'm gonna need a calculator for that. So 42 times five, that's 210 of these pictures. I mean, I paid a little over a dollar each. So even if I sell all these on $2 a day, I'm still doubling up. Um, but I'm going to be opening these up and it, maybe I can get 10 for these. I might, but here's what I might do. I might put like a bunch of these out for $10 a day and one or two of each of these just because why not? We'll see if some of them sell. Now, next we've got two more pallets here. This one is Zevia soda or water or something. I don't know. It looks disgusting. It looks like it's supposed to be healthy. I paid a hundred bucks for it. There are, I believe, four six-packs in each of these boxes. I don't remember if my plan was to sell the box for 10 or the four six-packs individually for whatever price point would make sense. I don't know what a six-pack of hippy-dippy soda goes for. What, what's wrong with Pepsi? Pepsi is delicious. I mean, I don't drink soda anymore, but Pepsi is the soda that I would go for. Um, so next, this palette, I paid 425 and I believe this might be my best palette. Um, this one... So the top, this with the yellow tags, is all these ankle socks. And the bottom boxes, these ones, are all underwear. I think there's one in here I can show you. Marvel underwear. Now the reason why I think it's so great is because there are 24 packs per box. And there's one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, that's 16 by two, that's 32 cases. Um, yeah, 32 cases, 33 cases with that one. So 33 times 24 packs is 792. I think I can get five bucks each for them. That's $4,000 for my $425 purchase. And that doesn't even factor the socks which I'll get even more for. And this box was randomly on it. I didn't see it, but it's, I don't know, baby shirts or something, onesies maybe. Uh, but the rest of them you can see are the socks on. Oh, that box might be a little different. I can't tell. It might be a different size, it might not be. But anyways, the socks, and how many of the socks are in here? There are 12 packs of socks. So, I'm probably looking at somewhere between four and five thousand dollars off of this pallet that cost me four hundred and twenty-five. That one's exciting. I don't expect to sell seven, what, seven, eight hundred pairs or packs of this 
Marvel underwear in this sale. It's gonna be over the course of a bunch of sales, but you never know. Kinda wish these were my size though, but I'm a little bigger than 4T. I would assume, I don't know children's sizes, but I would assume that's, I would, <coughs> I would assume 4T is smaller than adult male. So anyways, that is this truckload. I kind of messed up my maze here by going through this, but now I need to start setting up for the sale. It is currently Thursday, Thanksgiving. We open seven days from now and the t we just cleared out the space mostly. A lot of work yet to do and staff is off today and tomorrow with pay and then of course the weekend. So I'm only gonna be staffed for three days leading up to the sale. And that is me today and tomorrow and I might work one day this weekend. I need at least one day off. It's gonna be a long, long, long month. Very long month. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, you'll be able to see more of this stuff and the other truckload and the Walgreens and all these other truckloads as I'm unboxing it in the next video setting up for the warehouse sale. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I still have those mail pallets to go through, the unclaimed mail. That might have to wait till after the sale. I have no time to go through those right now. So I was hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. This was on the pallet that collapsed. Got nice big casters on it. 660 pound load capacity. And it folds up. So very excited about that. We're gonna be using that around here. It's a little beat up. I mean, you can see it took a hit here. The box was pretty rough, but um, I mean, came on a pallet, so it didn't really cost us anything. We also got this nice snap frame sign. You can fill the base with water. Is missing the screws that go in from the bottom to hold it in place. It's just kind of sitting there. But um, we've got enough signs. I think I'm going to sell this. I don't know what I'm going to get for it, but this is probably like a two or three hundred dollar sign. Um, and then there was also this, it says it's a little end table, uh, side end table. Well, let's open this one up. Yeah, it's just going right in the garbage. There's only one leg. But I figure I could still sell the tabletop nice marble. No, it's not marble. That's cracks. It, um, well, this side is nice marble looking. This side, you can clearly, I mean, these are cracks. And then it's got, this piece is, where is it? Right here, pretty smashed right where a bolt goes through. I think I'm just going to chuck this. I don't know if this is salvageable. But what did I say I spent 175 bucks? I bet I get at least 50 bucks for that. And this is probably at least $100 in value right there. So that almost pays for it. And there was all of that other stuff too back there. Again, that was this pallet back here. Uh, yeah, 175 bucks. That's what these came off of. All right, now I'm ending the video. Bye.